From Washington, D.C., this is the TVNews.TV for Tuesday, November 15th, 2011. Brought to you by Original Productions, the powerhouse in reality television. Original Productions, a Fremantle Media Company. Visit them at OridgeProd.com. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with Will the most recent developments between owners and players spell the death knell for the 2011-2012 NBA season? We're sad to report, quite possibly. Now that the players have rejected the owner's professed last and final offer, stand ready to decertify the union and proceed with antitrust action against the owners. And all of these developments could spell doom for the remainder of the 2000-2012 NBA season. Well, hey, did you hear that NBC News has hired a new special correspondent who will contribute to the Making a Difference segments on NBC Nightly News. For more on this, we send it to our special TV news correspondent, Chris Tucker. So you think you got Kelsey Clinton? $50 million, who you think you got Kelsey? What's, what's the line? $50 million, who you think you got Chelsea? Is it Chelsea or Kelsey? $50 million, who you think you got Chelsea Carter? $50 million, who you think you got Chelsea Grammar? Chelsea. You think you got Chelsea Clinton? $50 million? Who you think you got, Chelsea Clinton? <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Let's have a look at Chelsea Clinton's qualifications and skill sets to report at the very highest level of television news. Hmm, not a whole lot there, but she is the daughter of a former president of the United States, and that seems good enough for NBC News. Let's now update Katie. Katie Couric and Jeff Zucker's ABC television Cindy Talker set to bow in fall 2012. 80% clearance and that covers 55 of the top 60 markets. And as we have already reported, there are reports circulating that Katie may just displace ABC Soap General Hospital from the ABC daytime schedule. More on this situation as it develops or does not develop. And now this. Well, time now for the TVNews.TV's big picture, news analysis and commentary. For so very long, we have been telling you all about the Turner Alumni Reunion, and yes, it has finally happened. An impressive number of Turner alums and current employees all gathered and lit up, or they just get lit, at Hilton Atlanta. So we thought we'd use the technique of montage to depict how a grand time was had by all, including founder, former chairman, and special honor guest, R.E. Ted Turner. We want to thank all of the sponsors of this auspicious event, Crawford Media Services, Original Productions, PC&E, even the TV News. Of course, thanks go out to event organizers Rafael Ortiz Guzman, Barbara Pyle, Arthur Sando. We thank the good people at Turner Entertainment. Turner Broadcasting System were a tremendous help to us, and of course we want to thank the main man himself, Ted Turner who remains such a wonderful inspiration to us all. And of course, thanks to all who attended. It simply would not have been such a memorable success without each and every one of you. And we hope to see you all again sooner rather than later. Events and opportunities brought to you by PC&E, Atlanta's only one-stop shop for lighting and grip, camera, sound stages, and expendables. Visit them at pce-atlanta.com. If you want to talk to the real decision makers in the TV industry, sign on as a sponsor for the TV News. Now to get started, just email us at advertise at the TV news .tv. Have you weighed in with your nomination for our third annual Duh Awards? And that's where we celebrate the dumbest, 
most undecided and most heralded happenings in the TV and new media industry for the year 2011. To cast your nomination for the Duh Awards, head on over to the TVNews.TV's fan page on Facebook. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We invite you to stay close to us on all of our social media outlets, and here are all of those coordinates. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you very much for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day. We thank you very much. It's getting